If granny squares aren't really your thing, but you want a project that is easy to do on the road, think about motifs. This particular collection of motifs I thought was really interesting because they're not the traditional shapes and they're not the traditional interpretation that you may have for granny square motifs or other projects that you may be considering crocheting on your summer vacation where you just want something easy to bring with you that you can put together at your leisure whenever you have the time. I thought this book was a good option because you're gonna love these. Look at this. Some of these shapes are just so unique. I'll just show you a couple of my favorites. Throughout the entire book, you are going to find just these fabulous shapes. Now think of it, we've got this one, which is pretty much something that we could use if we were doing a hexagonal project. So you could make all of your shapes a little different than the expected, but you could still join them like you would join any other hexagon pattern to make a blanket, make a shawl. You could make a great, uh, cardigan with it too. So when you're trying to figure out what you might want to do on your summer break, I would strongly urge you to consider the idea of one of these books like favorite crochet motifs because it affords you the opportunity to have small manageable projects that you can take with you on the road and that you can just put together at your leisure, maybe in the depths of winter on a cold winter weekend. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did.